Good afternoon, morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Oh my goodness, a lot happened. My base burnt down twice. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly caused it. Uh, I think it might have. I don't know. I think it might, might have been that, like the lava, like a fire might have burned where that grass block is, which then got caught onto this, which then just spread like crazy. Um, so I have fixed all that. Got rid of the solar panels. They're in my inventory now. Um, drove this down one. And I replaced the solar panels with a resistive here, which actually, to put it simply, the resistive here heats up. Uh, it sends out heat, basically, to uh, surrounding uh, blocks and whatnot. And one cool thing, though, is that with a thermal evaporation plant is that you can basically put this thing basically anywhere. Um, right now, I'm just trying to figure out how am I going to get power over here. What I can do to get power over here. And honestly, I kind of want to try out flux networks. Just for, just for the heck of it. Um, how bad is flux networks anyways? So we use that. I don't need that anymore. Um, that I'm going to work on later. These guys I'll keep in here. Those I don't need anymore. Um, I'll just add those back in later. Uh, I don't need that. Those two can go away. Why do I have that? Yeah. Anyway, um, plug point. Cool. All right. So in order to get at the flux plug, which takes energy uh, from outside of a machine and into the network, you would need flux flux block or flux block flux cores. This is the basic foundation of the mod. Kind of expensive, actually. Uh, flux dust is basically crushing redstone on bedrock and obsidian, or flux block if you want to make it portable. <laughs> uh, I just got two stacks of redstone and obsidian. Um, let's head downstairs. Oh, and here's a really cool effect. You guys know how the nether is supposed to have like a loading screen in between? Not anymore. <laughs> it's so cool. I don't care if I'm attacked. Because, believe it or not though, this portal actually shows the, the uh, reverse view of the portal. See? You're no longer being attacked. No worries whatsoever. Okay. Okay, where's bedrock? Here we go. Oh goodness, I should not have done that. Ha! Oh. Cool. All right. So now let me just uh, get you guys in position. Take this and punch. <laughs> uh, I just freaking love that uh, that little fire effect. Ender pearls. Right. Dungeon chests. Hmm. Maybe I'll have some luck finding them in the uh, nether over there. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, That's actually added by a uh, mod called Immersive Portals. Um, there was... An <clears throat> There's another one that's exactly like it called... Like, it's literally the, exa the exact same mod called Better Portals. But that's for 1.12. Immersive Portals is basically the 1.16 version of the Bear Portals. Yeah. Like, same mod author, same mod page. Um, well, same artwork and everything. Yeah. Um, hmm. 
But what's interesting though is that if you uh, already have another portal in your world, it'll still act the exact same way when you install the mod. The only way to, you know, get it to work is to break the portal. In other words, either push the obsidian block with a piston, or you could just uh, break it with a pickaxe. And then you just set up the portal again, and it'll automatically take effect. Now, your world's going to lag for a little bit. Like, might have a momentarily lag spike. Like, but it worked very well. Um, I'm not actually... Surprisingly, though, I'm not having any issues with, you know, lag spikes or anything. The one thing, though, that I am going to be a little bit sketchy with is what's... Uh, what's it called? Um, maybe the end. I don't know how that's going to load properly. Hmm. I haven't really tested it yet, so... I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm looking for a way to get... Eyes of Ender for my Flux uh, stuff. Nope. Hmm. Running... Oh boy. Holy moly, I got a lot of uh, Soul Sand Valleys with this spawn. It's kind of crazy how much, uh. Yeah. Oh, also, I made a lot of stuffed zucchinis. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I'm trying out uh, Toggle Shift. It's it's not mod, it's actually a uh, accessibility option where instead of you holding on Shift, you can just press it and you're sneaking now. Cool, huh? It's a lot to get used to though because some of the more uh, I want to say you know, some of the more common ways that you would access certain things, like for example, with the uh, with mechanisms uh, tools. You know, if I hold Shift, it's going to scroll through its options rather than me going to my sword. So there's that. Uh, the configurator similar issue, but that's more of like a. That's more of like a user error more than anything. <laughs> uh, you know what? I should probably grab these mushrooms. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing any Enderman on the map. Hmm. Hmm. It's like the third time that I'm looking for Enderman, and I haven't found any. Hmm. Maybe there's some in that fort over there. Probably not, though. But, I'm gonna help. Are those blocks of gold just sitting right there? Okay. I'll be. Who built a fortress like this? It's like saying, hey, come and get me. I'm alone. Okay. Wow, these boots have a lot of health. 
Oh. Ooh. Uh-huh. Good stuff. Ooh, pork chops. Magma creams. Arrows. Nope. Okay. Huh. Surprisingly, for a fortress, this area is pretty well lit. Oh, heck no. <laughs> okay. I did not expect that whatsoever. I was like, why is this going so smoothly? They were all right behind me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hmm. Alright, so I'm not gonna go back there because that doesn't make any sense. Uh there's my there's another fortress. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hey, a chest over there. Blaze rods never hurt. Yeah. Huh. Gold stuff never hurt. Wait, can I? Ooh, I can. Yeah, if I don't get, if I don't see Enderman by like the 20 minute mark, I'm just going to end the video here and see if I can find it off camera or something. Yeah, well, only one way to find out. Hmm. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, nothing. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to end here, guys. Um, because I think this will be pretty boring to watch. I'll see you guys later. Maybe I'll find it off camera. Eh, I'll find it. Or find a lot of Enderman, hopefully. But, meh. Yeah. Well, anyways. Take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.